Today's video is brought to you by The Dauber Stopper. So if you live in a house with air conditioning, you need one of these. Get on modernacproducts.com to find out why. I'm Eric Perkins. You're watching the Perkins Builder Brothers channel. Today we're gonna to learn how to frame a basic window opening. So I'm gonna show you how I lay it out and then how to frame it. Okay, so generally speaking, there's five main components that make up a window opening. You have your jacks, your king studs, your cripples, your windowsill, and your header. All these things go together to make one window opening. All right, so the first step of framing a window is to lay out where the vertical members are gonna run into your top and bottom plates of your wall. Let's do that. All right, first thing I've done is establish where I want this center of the window to be. Now I'm gonna mark out the rough opening, which I know is 30 inches. You need to check what your rough opening is on your window schedule. It's usually different from the actual window size, but this one's 30, so I will align 15 inches right on my center mark. Then I'll mark this end, and I will put a J jack on that end, and I will go over here to 30 and mark J on this end. Okay, this space here, is our actual window opening. This letter J represents jack, and the jack is the framing member that holds the header up. Next, I'm gonna strike some lines perpendicularly across these plates. Now I'm gonna measure over one and one half inches, and another one and one half inches, and this will represent our king stud. The king stud goes alongside the jack and goes all the way up to the top plate. Okay, next I'm gonna transfer these marks to my top plate. This is the bottom plate, this is the top plate. You do wanna make sure these plates are aligned on the end so when you stand them up, these boards are plumb. I do wanna mention that if your window opening is 60 inches or more in residential code, you need two jacks per side. And at that point, it's not a bad idea to throw in two king studs per side as well. Just so everyone knows what's going on with our windows, I usually like to write the rough opening of the window on both plates so we know what it is. And I'll write that in feet and inches. So this is 2640, which is 30 inches by 48 inches. 2640, 2640. All right, next we're gonna lay out the cripples that hold the sill up on this window. What I've done is hooked on the outside of structure over here I'm gonna lay a cripple centered on 16 inches so that these cripples are on the same layout as the rest of the studs. So when we do our sheet goods, they will break evenly on these cripples as well as the studs. also be a cripple on the inside of each jack to catch the ends of the windowsill. All right, now we have this window laid out and ready to frame. We'll pull the plates apart so that studs will fit in between. We'll nail it all together and I'll show you that process. All right, and I do wanna say this, the order in which I do this doesn't matter so much as long as you get all the parts in there. Sometimes it's easier to put the king studs in, then the header, then the jacks. Sometimes it's easier to put the header in, then the king studs, then the jacks, then the cripples. So the order is not a set in stone thing. You could do this in many different orders. This is just the way I was handed the pieces today, so that's the order I'm gonna do it in. All right, first step of sticking this thing together is to put in the king studs. These go on the very outside, on the outside of the jacks. I've got these two wall plates laid out. I'm gonna lay these in, crown up. These are nice straight boards too, by the way. You don't wanna put really crooked ones on the sides of your windows. Now we have the king studs in. Next, I'm going to install the jacks. These will go on the inside of the king studs. Generally speaking, 81 inches is your jack length. That's the same as a door opening that'll put the top of your window the same height as the top of your doors so that they line up. The header will sit on top of these jacks. I nail the jacks from the bottom 
bend the top, and then work down the middle, making sure that they're flush with the king stud the whole way down on top. All right, now that I have the jacks installed, I'm gonna hook on top of the jack and measure down and mark where the seal plate's gonna go so I can measure for the cripples. This measurement will be 48 inches plus the sill plate. So we're gonna go 48 plus an inch and a half. That's our sill. Now I can measure up from the bottom to get our cripple lengths, which in this case will be 31 one half inch. And I'll go ahead and mark that across. That's your sill. 31 one half times four cripples. Okay, next step is to install these cripples and they will hold up the window sill. I like to install the ones on the outside next to the jacks first so I can get my gun in and fasten them right here. And then I'll install the two middle ones. All right, next I've got my window sill and this will fit in between the jacks. What I'm gonna do is copy the layout for the cripples off of the bottom plate. So I'll line it up inside of the jack and then just trace. Now I have this same layout as I have on the bottom plate. I'll put it up here and nail it in. All right, last piece of the puzzle, install the header. In this case, it is a load bearing point on a wall, so I'm gonna install a solid header instead of cripples. We can do cripples if it's not load bearing. I'll show you a picture of that right now. Okay, we're back. I'm gonna stomp this thing down. We will drill holes in this later. I know you're looking at this, it's hollow. We'll drill holes in it and spray it full of foam insulation. So I'm gonna knock this in. fasten it it's always a good idea to have a header that fits really snug so that your wall doesn't compress later and actually that pulled out a little bit so we're gonna knock it back tight and we'll install it Okay, I've got this window put together. The last thing I'm gonna do is double check that the window opening is the right size before I put the sheeting on this wall. It's a lot harder to fix once you've got it sheeted. So let's just double check it. 48 by 30. And that was our rough opening, 2640. We're gonna sheet this wall, stand it, and we'll be ready to roll.